Hello, my name's David Holder. I'm a neurologist at UCH, but also run an interdisciplinary bioengineering neurophysiology research group here in medical physics at UCL. Our main interest is the new technique of electrical impedance tomography, which is a small portable medical imaging method, looks a bit like an EEG machine with electrodes and an electrode helmet placed on the head. One of the opportunities of this is that it could transform the management of acute stroke by allowing imaging in the back of an ambulance or a GP surgery, which would allow the a doctor or the paramedic to give a clot dissolving agent just after the strokes happened, which would save a lot of lives and time. We've been developing a reconstruction algorithm for this, and this requires both sophisticated inverse mathematics, but also a very large finite element model forward mesh containing 10 million elements. And although this works well in tank studies, at the moment it's taking too long. Because of multiple iterations, it takes perhaps a week to produce one image. The challenge in this project is to try and reduce this imaging time of a week down to a few minutes using advanced mathematical methods from my colleague, uh, Bang Ti Jin. Hello, I'm Bang Ti Jin, and I'm a lecturer in English from, uh, at UCL. I work at the uh, Department of Computer Science. I'm also a member of the uh, Center for English Plum and the Center for Medical Imaging Computing. As David mentioned earlier, uh, the goal of our project is to reduce the imaging time from several hours to a few minutes. We shall uh, achieve this goal by the following observations. First, the solution uh, depends very smoothly on the frequency. Second, for neighboring frequency, the solutions are very similar to each other. Uh, both these facts can be efficiently exploited in the numerical computation, and uh, we shall achieve this goal by these observations. The project is suitable for a student with a background in engineering, mathematics, or physics. The skills to be learned will be in inverse mathematics, numerical methods for forward computation, but also human experimental design. It will suit someone who likes working in an interdisciplinary group because you'll be closely working with students with backgrounds in medicine, physiology and engineering. And the final deliverable will be a working algorithm that will actually confer essential benefits to the patients that have had acute stroke and this might transform their management and save lives and morbidity.